When you picture eating snails, you may think of a buttery French delicacy. But halfway across the world, there's another type of snail that is just as popular, and it's called oak or sea snails. In the streets of Vietnam, people have been eating them for centuries. That's Dan Dao, a Vietnamese American travel and culture writer. He's joining me today to teach me how to eat sea snails. It was like the whole experience of trash can full of shells <laughs> under you, you're drinking a ton of beer, and everything's really loud and kind of communal and everyone's eating with their hands. Like that whole experience is like, it's like more than just like a dish. Snails is very, very popular in Vietnam and people just eat snails and drink beer all day. That's Jimmy Lee, chef and owner of Madame Vaux Barbecue in the East Village of New York City. He says there are a few reasons why sea snails are so prevalent in Vietnam. One of them is geography. Since Vietnam is a coastal country bordering the Pacific Ocean in the South China Sea, seafood is available everywhere. With their snails, it's, it's so easily accessible in the country and it tastes so good. Sea snails also play a role in Vietnam's cultural practice of social eating. So in Vietnam, we do ăn nhau. It means eat and drink and symbolizes family and group gatherings. People really sit oh, out on a plastic stool. You get there after work and you stay super late eating snails and drinking beer. Dan says that back in Ho Chi Minh City, there's a whole road dubbed Snail Street that's lined with restaurants and stalls cooking up snails and seafood. Now, some may think the culture of eating snails came to Vietnam when the French colonized the country in the late 1800s, but archaeological evidence tells us a different story. According to author Vu Ong Lien, piles of discarded snail shells were discovered in Nghe An province of northern Vietnam that date back to over 10,000 years. Vietnamese people, we, we eat, you know, anything we can find, practically. And I don't think that, that the French arriving in Vietnam signaled in any way like, hey, y'all, let's go eat snails. So this notion that Vietnamese snails, you know, the, the eating of them and the preparation of them were somehow influenced by the French, I don't see evidence of that. Other differences between the dishes? Well, French escargot is typically prepared with land snails, while oak is freshwater or sea snails. The French dish can also cost up to $50 a plate, while oak typically goes for about $4 per plate in the streets of Vietnam. To see just how oak are prepared here in New York, I joined Chef Jimmy in his kitchen. He's one of the first restaurateurs to introduce Nhao, the culture of snail eating, to the city. Today we're making oak sa so it's a lemongrass boiled sea snails. All the flavors are already in the snail. And what we want to do is to enhance the flavors with lemongrass, red chili peppers, and lime leaves. So this is a very simple way, very traditional in uh, Vietnam. And you're going to cook it down and let all the flavors come in and, and be embodied into the snails. Surrounded by the aroma of herbs and spices, my curiosity was peaking and I couldn't wait to try Oak with Dan. You've never had snails before? Never. I have like, never. Like, not even escargot? Not even escargot. Okay. <gasps> Hello! Hey, what's up, guys? Thank you. So you've never had snails, so let me show you how to eat it. Okay. This little guy, and you're gonna kind of pull it out. And it's, it's really intuitive, I think, because you see how it's like, the meat is kind of curled, like, based yeah. on the shape of the shell, right? Mm -hmm. So you, you kind of put it right here, and you pull in kind of a swirling motion. Oh, wow. And like turn it at the same time, like you're unscrewing it. And then you take off this little part, this hard part, and yeah. then you dip it. <gasps> you just pop right in. What am I <laughs> supposed to expect with the taste of this? I mean, it's gonna taste a little seafoody. It is a sea snail, so it does come from the ocean. <laughs> kind of like clam, like it's gonna have a bite to it. There'll be some texture, some kind of like chewiness. And this one's a little spicy because of the chilies. Pull out, so you have leverage to oh. kind of pull it out that Did way. Did I do it? Yeah, perfect, <gasps> exactly. Okay, now I put this in here. Yeah, I'm gonna just dip it. Okay. Here I go, guys, mm -hmm. my first time having sea snail. What do you think? It's more chewier mm -hmm. than expected. Yeah, definitely. But, oh my god, that dipping sauce is magical. Salty, sweet, sour. That's what I love about 
kind of like Vietnamese food in general, is that yeah. they always try to hit that balance. I expected these sea snails to be softer inside. In terms of like texture, I thought it would be more like a pudding consistency. No, not at all. That's that's the thing. I don't really like that mushy yeah. things. I'm actually kind of glad that it has like a bite, like you're eating like razor clam or something. Yeah. I don't want to say it tastes like chicken, but it's definitely <laughs> it's definitely like much more chewier. Yeah. And the texture is kind of cartilagey, but the sauce, the sauce really does it. It's spicy, it's salty, it's flavorful, and it just makes this such a great experience. Yeah. Next, we tried Chef Jimmy's modern take on oak. Our second dish is just, uh, we use periwinkle sea snails with garlic, fish sauce, basil reduction. So depending on how it's cooked, you're, you're gonna eat it a different way. Like this one's been wok stir fried, so it's gonna be softer, so you can just literally suck it right out of the shell. And there is mm. um, plenty of flavor on the shell as well. Yeah. So you're just gonna kinda get right in there. <laughs> Right. Yeah? I don't know if I got it, but <laughs> wow, the shell, the part. I know, the flavor is so the good. The flavor is so good. Yeah, but when you cook it, it tends to, it gets softer, right? But you can still pick it out with a toothpick or... Um... I think I got it. Oh my God, I could literally like eat this all day. This is so good. So what do you think of this one compared to, compared to that I one? love this one so much. And it's kind of addicting to eat these. Right. Like once again, it's like... I mean, people in the States who go to like seafood boils, yeah. crawfish boils, like the whole idea of like eating fresh seafood with your hands, like that'll be a familiar thing for most people, even if it's snails and mm -hmm. not crawfish. I want to yeah. try this one again. This one is a bigger snail, it seems like, right? Yeah. Um, these aren't exactly like the ones that you would get in Vietnam, but they're close. And like it kind of shows like how Vietnamese immigrants kind of like adapted mm -hmm. whatever food they could find here to, to the same cooking methods that they used in Vietnam. Which is amazing. It's like people who came here obviously wanted to stay attached to their culture and their cuisine, mm -hmm. and they did whatever they could to find the ingredients that emulated that. I'm actually glad you were here to show me because otherwise I'd probably like stare at it for quite a while <laughs> to see like how am I supposed to get the meat out. To be honest, I never even liked this when I was growing up, but then later when I grew up and I started going to Vietnam and just like, I realized that it wasn't just the food, it was like the whole experience. It was just like sitting outside, eating snails with your hands. I've never felt so Vietnamese as when I was like in Saigon, on Snail Street, chilling with a beer and like a bucket of snails. 